Let's take a look at mixture problems. This one is linear because we're going to have a linear equation once we parse that word problem, and then we're going to get just a single answer. Here's the problem. I'd like you to hit pause, spend a few moments to read it over twice, and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, we've got two kinds of coffees. One sells for $2.75 a pound, one sells for $5 a pound. So let's let A be the $2.75 coffee. And let's let B be the $5 coffee. And how much do we have of each? We know we're making 100 pounds, and we don't know how much of each. That's what it's asking us to find. So A, let's just keep that as A. And the $5 coffee, we know together A and B equal 100. So if we don't know A, B then is what's left over, which is 100 minus A. We can write a word sentence for this problem and then substitute values in. We know we can set one up with respect to money because they're giving all of this information. So how do we do that? First, it's the cost per pound of A times the amount of A plus the cost per pound of B times the amount of B and that's going to be equal to the total weight times that price per pound. So let's take that information, the cost per pound of A from the problem, it tells us 275. How much of A do we have? We don't know. We called that A. The cost per pound for B is $5. And how much of B? Well, there's 100 minus however much you have of A. The total weight is 100 pounds, and the price per pound of that final mix is $3.90. So this gives us our initial equation. Now that we've got that, let's go ahead and solve this. We're going to distribute in the 5 into the 100 and the negative A, and then multiply these two pieces on the right-hand side. So 275A comes along for the ride. 5 times 100 is 500. 5 times negative A, negative 5A. 100 times $3.90, 390. Now let's collect like terms on the right side. When we do that, we get negative 2. 25A plus 500 equals the 390. Now let's go ahead and subtract 500 from both sides. When we do that, we get negative 2.25A, and that's equal to negative 110. Now we get to divide both sides by that coefficient of A. And you can write these out if it helps you to not make mistakes. These divide out, and the A comes down. Then negative 110 divided by negative 2.25 is 48.8. And that 8 is repeating. You used your calculator. It says 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 and a 9. Now, the problem asked us to give the copy to the nearest pound. And so 48.8 rounded is 49. So we know we're going to have 49 pounds of that. And then B is 100 minus A. So that's 100 minus 49, which gives you 51. So our final answer is we're going to have 49 pounds of the $2.75 coffee and 51 pounds of the other. And that's your final answer. Now, if you would like some extra practice, 
From your textbook, you can take a look at page 141, number 21, and work through that problem. Because it's an odd number, answers are in the back of the book. You could also take a look at example 4 within the section of the textbook, and that's on page 137, and it works you, walks you through that entire problem. So that's it. Hope you're having a great day.